Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be doing polls on the promo wheel but just not any promo wheel because we have had a refresh and it's called Holiday Recruits. There is a post up on the blog and I guess a lot of you have already seen this. We did go over this on my stream and basically if you read through this they're adding S-Class characters to this wheel as secondary characters. You can see Marge, Mr. Lou, Imani, Shane, Marcus, Job, David and Clementine are gonna be added and you're gonna be able to pull them as S-Class characters, six star characters and five star ascendables. There are no longer gonna be any low odds or like high luck required to get some six star characters. As you can see in the breakdown of the odds, S-Class recruits has been changed to 1%. For the featured S-Class and the returning S-Class recruits combined. And then you also have 1% for the legendary recruit and 1% for the ascendable epic recruit. Before it was 0.4% for S-Class and legendary recruit combined. And then 0.4% again for the 5 star ascendable. Cards overall have been increased to 57%. With 35% of them being the featured S-Class. Before it was just 30% of the featured S-Class. That's been increased to 35 But you also have 22% on top with the returning S-Class. I think this is great. They've removed four stars from this wheel and they've now added five star fighters just to be the 40%. So you've got less chance of getting a five star than you've got of getting anything else, which just generally in my mind is gonna be good. So you've got more chance of getting S-Class cards than anything. So you're always gonna be getting progress seemingly. And what's great is there is a wheel up at the moment so we can directly compare the, the odds. You can see 1%, 1%, 1%, 35%, 22%, and then 40%, exactly what we saw before. Now, if we go to the Akira wheel, um, he's not a first time promo, so the legendary recruits has been halved, but it would normally be 0.4% here. So normally it'd be 0.4%, 0.4%, 30%. You see there's a massive drop off. Then we go into legendary recruits. This is what I'm talking about before, where you could get really lucky with the legendary recruits and ascendable epic recruits. And, and like in this well, if you get lucky on that, let's have a little check what those characters are. They are, yeah, like you could get really lucky with like a 0.6%. And you're getting a six star Xander. Not a good feel, not a good feel. But now, if we get lucky with a 1%, we can get Argus as a five star, six star, Marge as an S class. I definitely take Marge, Mr. Lou, I do not have, so I definitely take Mr. Lou. Marcus, I'd even take. I wouldn't mind Marcus, there is some ideas I've got for him. I do not want Imani. I wouldn't mind Job. I'll take S class Job. I do not want Shane. I've already got Shane. I would take Clementine as a five star, but I do not need her as an S class. And I don't really care for Davy, honestly. I don't really care for Davy because, I mean, if I get him, I get him. But I don't, I, I don't really want him. Um, he's not unwanted. Just there are other priorities in there for me. I'm gonna do my first forty pull on five star Clementine. See if she can give me some telltale luck. We're also gonna get the diamonds on top. So we're gonna see what we can get. I have had an S-Class just pop out of the wheel before in the past. And the first character we're gonna get is a five-star Abraham. Here come the cards. Andrea, more cards. 35% chance at Argus cards. Does already feel better. Yeah, Job as well, 150 cards for Job. Okay, not bad. Yeah, this is feeling good. It just just having S class progress like come out of the wheel much more often is just so much nicer. Argus, Timothy, Tyrese, give me the S class. Anything S class. Cards, five star ascendable, six star, S class. Cards, five star ascendable, six star, S class. This is it. All the cards. As little five stars as possible. Little, 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 little. Less, that's it, that's it. <laughs> hey, we get an S-Class Marcus, okay. I'll take it, I'll take Marcus. I haven't really had any progress in him. I think I've actually got like 3K cards. I haven't really been trying. Damn, we got a Marcus. Okay, we get pretty lucky there. I'll take it, I'll take Marcus. He was one of the top, top four or five for me. That's a 1%. I'll take. I will take. Let's have a little look. Hey. That's not bad. He's actually a pretty good leader. I think he's going to be quite good against um, Jesus because of his leader skill. You can, like, I think you can take Clementine and 
Priya and Princess in the same team. And Clementine can remove all the camouflage, turn two. Or like, yeah, yeah, I think I think that, that's going to be actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Instant progress as well. Getting instant S-Class is such a good feeling. Like, the amount of resources that you save by getting instant S-Class is nuts. And I'm not sure how... I would have to check out because now I've got enough cards to get five star. I'd have to see if that's actually worth doing as well. 68 diamonds as well. 68 diamonds. I'm going to do another 40. This time I'm going to do it on S-Class Marge. S-Class Marge. Now, if we did pull Argus, I'd just stop. I just stop because I will wait for the next time the wheel comes around. And something to mention as well with this is it does make just doing 10s and 40s a bit more worthwhile. Before I'd wait for 100s just to get as much progress towards the S class as put. But now you can you can get actually quite fortunate. And this does actually make a Survivor's Club better as well. So there's a lot of... Hey, we get a, we get a Mr. Lou. I haven't claimed any 5-star Mr. Lou's yet. So that's nice. That's 2k cards instantly. That's really nice. I'm not sure if the 1k cards drop anymore. I haven't seen anyone. I mean, I haven't noticed. There's been so much cards. I've been kind of like overwhelmed. <laughs> August, August, August. Non-stop. They probably do drop. But um, I've not noticed. If anyone's had 1k cards drop. I've seen 250. Yeah, there's March. I would definitely take some of her cards. But if, you, if you've had 1k cards drop, do let me know in the comments. Let's get, let's get something else. Let's get a nice... We've got a 5-star instead of all. We do a 6-star. If we do 100 pulls, we do one of each, right? This is me doing air quotes. That's what we do. As long as Earl isn't here. I don't think he is because we've got an S-class off the first 40, you know. I don't think he is here. Azuz. Azuz. Okay. Mr. Lou is a 5-star extendable. Is what we've got so far. We're getting so many cards, man. We're going quite early as well. First 10. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. So we'll, I think we'll just do another 40. I've got enough for uh, doing 120 pulls. And I think we'll leave it at that. Let me see. Who should I pull on? I'll pull on Mr. Lou. S-Class Mr. Lou. We'll do another 40. Let's go. Lego. Give me goodness. Who's that? That's Sawyer. Five star Sawyer. See, even some of the five stars are reasonable. But I think a lot of them are definitely going to be used as fodder. That Mr. Lou needs eight sacrificial lambs, unfortunately, for you guys. I think it's going to be some of you. See, we get some 250s, 150 cards. That's the most I've seen. 50 Marcus. 60 Argus. Marcus Argus. Argus. Sunday, Bruce. Give me a nice character drop. We've got another 40. We can get another character drop in here. 1%. 1% of an S class. We can do it. We can do it. We can, we can beat the odds. Cooper. Lots of five stars. It's nice to see a character come out until you see the starts. <laughs> it's just like. <gasps> Every character's a potential. Ooh, that, that one. I felt that one a little bit. I was like, oh, looks different. Looks different. Come on, give us say Argus, five star ascendable Argus or six star Argus. I'll take I take some bleeds, bleed please. Ninety five cards. So we're getting so many of Argus cards though. Mad progress, mad mad progress. Job, Rosita, Andrea, Marcus. We didn't get anything really off the last forty. Lots of cards though. I'm gonna. I think when I back out here, we're gonna have quite a lot of progress in the museum. Like I got a lot of Argus cards. I, I'd be. I'd be surprised if I didn't get 2K. Got a lot of Marcus cards there. Oh, I didn't mean to watch that. Let's 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 see what what happens when I back out. I get the 68 diamonds on top. There we go. I thought so. How many Marcus? How many Argus? Sorry, Marcus Argus. Oh, bit of lag. Four, nearly 4K cards. See, that's much. That's that's much nicer to come out of. With nearly 4k cards. I'm pretty happy with that. We did get S-Class Marcus. So I'll just check him out in my roster. Let's have a little look. Oh, we do actually have Survivor's Club pool. This is where the bonus is. There we go. Marcus. New. S-Class attack leader. I'll take him. I'll take him. We do have a Survivor's Club pool. I'm going to just pull straight away. What do we get with the Survivor's Club pool? Could be anything. 
It's gonna be cards. It's gonna be a hundred Marcus cards. Not exactly what I need. It's not exactly what I need. But that's what I'm saying about Survivor's Club. It has kind of been improved now because of this wheel. I think that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with my pulls. I got a five star Lou as well. Five star Ascendable. And we got we got quite a lot of cards in there. Lots and lots of cards. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy, guys. I saw some really good pulls on my discords if you are going to pull on this wheel it does seem the most worthwhile they did do something like this once before i believe at christmas maybe with erica i can't really remember it's been a while where they just bumped up the odds a little bit for christmas so if you want to get your best chances of getting some characters it does seem like now's the time to pull that is it in my video though guys i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys Keep on surviving.